This is Saturn's largest satellite. It is the only moon with clouds and a dense planet-like atmosphere. But let's remove its clouds. Titan's atmosphere extends about 370 miles high, which makes it a lot higher than Earth's atmosphere. It is roughly 95% nitrogen and 5% other complex molecules such as methane. Titan is the only known place besides Earth to have an Earth-like cycle of liquids raining from clouds flowing across its surface filling lakes and seas and evaporating back into the sky. Astronomers also speculate that Titan has a subsurface ocean of water. The internal structure of the Moon isn't entirely known, but one model based on data from the Cassini-Huygens mission suggests Titan has five primary layers. The innermost layer is a core of rock 1200 miles in radius, surrounded by a shell of water ice, a special type called Ice 6 that is only found at extremely high pressures. The high pressure ice is surrounded by a layer of salty liquid water, on top of which sits an outer crust of water ice. This surface is covered with organic molecules that have rained or otherwise settled out of the atmosphere in the form of sands and liquids. The surface of Titan is one of the most Earth-like places in the solar system, although at vastly colder temperatures and with different chemistry. It is so cold here that water ice plays the role of rock. It's minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit. Titan may have volcanic activity as well, but with liquid water lava instead of molten rock. Methane and ethane waters sculpt the surface of this world. Only Earth in the solar system has that kind of liquid activity on its surface. At the surface of Titan, the atmospheric pressure is about 60% greater than on Earth, roughly the same pressure a person would feel swimming about 50 feet below the surface in the ocean on Earth. High in Titan's atmosphere, methane and nitrogen molecules are split apart by the Sun's ultraviolet light and by high-energy particles accelerated in Saturn's magnetic field. The pieces of these molecules recombine to form a variety of organic chemicals, substances that contain carbon and hydrogen, and often include nitrogen, oxygen and other elements important to life on Earth. <laughs>